opportunity to become acquainted. So, Ava, meet Holly. Holly is Ava. Hi, Darlie. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> I've been waiting to talk to you because I've been following all of the stuff with Marlon on the Twitter. So I was like, I actually was trying to get your phone number because I was going to call you because I had some stuff to say that probably shouldn't be said on air. But I was like... <laughs> I'll wait and now you know to talk funny? to you when we do the show together. <laughs> you know what's funny, Holly? You know what's funny? I I am not the one to curse or talk down on anybody, you know, especially publicly and, and on Twitter. But it came to a point where I was just so upset that I said, you know what, maybe if I say it like this, people will really look into what's going on and really question who is a representative, what is lacking, who this girl is, and what, what is she really representing. You know what, I I mean, I think we probably all fall, you know, I've been reading everyone's sentiments, and I think we probably all kind of fall in line with the same opinion of it. Um, personally, I don't think that she was the best representative in any way, shape, or form, and when I read some of the stuff that she said, I was just like, man, that is so incredibly disrespectful, and why the hell has she not had her ass looked <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like, I really couldn't understand that. And then, you know, I'm a woman and I'm, you know, I'm older than you ladies as well. And I was reading the thing that she said about being a baby mama and that thing just made me want to like, I was like, wow, this is not okay. Like for one woman to talk to another woman like that is crazy. And then especially when it's somebody that is actually at the top of your craft, like you're an amateur fighter. You're an amateur fighter. You fight in headgear. And... Mm -hmm in 10 ounce gloves and you're talking to somebody who's a world champion like that is craziness to me it kind of it's really to me it's really depressing I feel like there's enough we battle enough to me I feel like I have to fight so hard for respect every day in the gym I have to fight so hard just to get a fight because people don't want women on their cars I have to fight so hard because every guy comes at me thinking I'm going to sleep with them I have to like every day I have to battle all this stuff I don't want to have to think that I have to fight with another woman fighter outside of the ring. You know, mm -hmm. like, to me, that's... I want to support everybody as much as possible. If you're, you and I are never going to meet in the ring, like, you ladies and I, we're never going to meet in the ring. Realistically, mm -hmm. totally different weight classes. I'll do everything I can to support you, and I feel like at a certain point, we just need to be that for each other because we have a hard enough time on a daily basis. Like, mm -hmm. it's crazy what? to me that somebody would ever attack another woman just well, you know what I, I, the best way that I put it earlier this week was the, the thing with Marlon is she hasn't witnessed the same struggle as professional women, so she shouldn't even go that route to disrespect one. Number one, you know, when you're an amateur boxer, you're not even supposed to be making any kind of money. So whether or not when she went to the Olympics and she had major endorsements, she had money, put, you know, poured into her, that's, that's something that's like a blessing in disguise. You need to just be thankful and humble because amateur fighters aren't supposed to make money until they go pro. So for right. her, to go, right. her to go and pop off the, the mouth about any female pro is more than disrespectful because she doesn't even know how it is to be a pro. She's had everything handed to her when it comes to the sport of boxing, so she should always respect what she doesn't know and fear none. I'm not telling her to be scared of me or Ava. I'm not telling her to be to, to, to bow down to me because I'm a world champion. All I'm telling is to have a little bit more respect, and if you ain't got no, nothing to say, don't say nothing at all. Just keep your mouth closed. And I really want to know who her mentor is. She needs a damn mentor. This girl needs somebody to, to, to say, delete, 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 don't post that, Marlon. You're going to get some people <laughs> to be upset at you, Marlon. She needs somebody who's well, got that's education. not a mentor, though, sweetheart. That's that. a publicist or a PR person. <laughs> She needs a, a friend, publicist, I don't know. Somebody. Yeah, she needs someone. I mean, the mentor thing is interesting that you bring up because I think, you know, I, I feel in everyday life it's important for women, especially in a profession that's difficult, to have somebody that is a, you know, a compatriot and, and or a mentor, somebody you can look up to, you can talk to, you can discuss ideas with, you, who's been through some of the struggle you've been through, um, just somebody that you're able to kind of talk about stuff. I'm I'm really blessed that I know Keena Malpartita, um, Diana Prezik trains in Los Angeles, so I get to see her on the daily, and then Lucia Riker is around. So for me, those are the three women that I really respect within the sport that I know personally and I'm able to speak to. And I think maybe if she was able to 
kind of have a little bit of that in her life, she might kind of understand a little bit more. But I think what you have, we have to address with her, is the fact that she's made public statements saying she doesn't want to fight professionally, that she only wants to fight amateur. Like, that's a whole other thing there. If you're saying you just want to pursue an amateur career because you want to try to win a medal, and which is admirable, and I love that women's boxing is a sport in the Olympics, and I think that we did the best job, you know, representing the U.S. in terms of boxing, but if you're making public statements saying you don't have any intention of turning pro, that in and of itself is, like, completely disregarding, you know, what the rest of us do and what the rest of us are achieving and trying to achieve and want to achieve within the sport.